Everybody, today I am in a super popular, very famous neighborhood in Indianapolis. It's actually right in the heart of the city, so its location is fantastic, but that's not the only reason it's so incredibly famous or popular. So this is the neighborhood of Meridian Kessler. So we're going to get into some of the details about why it's so popular and what makes it so unique. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Jason Compton with the Compton Home Group and welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Indianapolis and all of the neighborhoods, all of the suburbs, just what it's like in general, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video each and every week. Now we get calls and texts and emails and reach outs from people all over the country and all over the Indy Metro with questions about neighborhoods like this one, like Meridian Kessel or a lot of the suburbs that surround Indianapolis. So if you're even thinking about moving to Indianapolis or within the Indy Metro at all, then don't hesitate to reach out to us because we've absolutely got your back whenever you're making your move. All right, so like I said today, we are in Meridian Kessler which is a very famous neighborhood in Indianapolis. Most people know about Meridian Kessler and they know approximately where it's located. The location is actually one of the things that is really pretty positive about it because it's located right in the heart of Indianapolis and it is close to so many things. So it could be a good fit for you if you work downtown because it's really only about four miles or so from downtown proper and that's you know, if you live in the middle of Meridian Kessler, if you're on the north side, it's a little further. If you're on the south side, it's of course a little bit closer. And I've got to say that I actually, this was a long time ago, this was maybe 25 years ago or so, I knew, had a couple of friends that lived right here in this neighborhood, in the south end of the neighborhood. And the south end, by the way, is 38th Street. And it used to be called Maple a long, long time ago because of all the maple trees. In fact, this whole area used to be farmland. And now it's completely residential, of course. But a long time ago, knew some friends that lived down in that area, and we actually, and this is when I'm 22 years old, we walked from there to downtown Indianapolis to just hit some of the bars. Now, that's a little bit of a haul, so we're talking two, three miles or so, but you get the point. It's walkable, but I wouldn't probably do that all of the time. You can drive there very easily. You can, of course, take cab and Uber, but it is very close. It's also close to the north side. Now it's bordered to the west of the neighborhood by Meridian Street, so that's part of where it gets its name, and to the north by Kessler Boulevard, so Meridian Kessler. And then over to the east, when you get there, that's that famous Monon Trail. And you get just past that and you're in kind of a different neighborhood, but just a little bit west of that, you're in a Meridian Kessler. So really incredible location, very close to a lot of things. So like I said, this whole area, it used to be farmland, and we're talking about back in the 1800s. And in the 1890s or so, there's some very wealthy people in Indianapolis that started to move out of Indianapolis proper at the time and into this particular area. And they started to, to build homes. So a lot of the homes that you see as you go through this neighborhood, I mean, these things are built in the 19, early 1900s. We're talking 1900, 1910. 1920, 1930. So a lot of these homes have been around for a hundred years. So after some of the wealthier individuals started to build in this area, the area was annexed by Indianapolis in 1905. The roads were improved and a lot more people started to move into this area. And it finally became just completely residential and no longer any farmland at all. Now once Meridian Kessler was really kind of completely built out, the spread kept going to the north. And so you'll get into Meridian Hills and Williams Creek and still find some incredible, very unique homes, and also very expensive homes in those neighborhoods as well. So what kind of home are you gonna find in Meridian Kessler? Well, unique is definitely going to be one of the things, and of course, old too. And in most cases, Meridian Kessler, probably fairly expensive. You'll definitely find a lot of homes with detached garages, and in a lot of cases, those detached garages will have spaces above them that's been converted into living space. So kind of a, a small apartment or maybe a guest room or two, just some really, really cool properties. But every single one of these homes, I mean, you can find almost every architectural style in Meridian Kessler. You gotta remember that these were wealthy people coming into this neighborhood and building some 
in some cases some pretty extravagant homes. When you go up and down Meridian Street especially, you get into some multi-million dollar homes. We're talking eight and nine thousand square feet. So, you know, they might sell for two million or 2.5, something like that. But you can ratchet it down in Meridian Kessler to the $500,000 mark. And you're gonna get a smaller home, of course. It might be 2,500 square feet, something like that. But tons and tons of architecturally different homes very, very custom for the time. So that's definitely one of the things that attracts people to this particular neighborhood. Plus the established feel. I and mean, when you go through this neighborhood, it is beautiful, huge, enormous trees. We're talking 80, 90, 100 feet tall and also a hundred years old. So it's very, very established. There's really nothing new about the feel of this particular neighborhood. Oh, just got totally hit on the head by a, an acorn of some kind. So another reason that people are attracted to Meridian Kessler, like we said before, is just that location. You know, it is close to so many things. Close to downtown, close to Indy's north side, not necessarily very close to an interstate. So if you want to get to I-65 or 465 or I-70 in some way, you got to travel through the city a little bit to get to those. That could be a little bit of a pain because, you know, you run into some traffic here and there and can get stopped up pretty easily. But the location as far as things to do is pretty fantastic. So close to downtown, but also Meridian Kessler itself has a lot to do. It's very close to Butler Tarkington, which is where Butler University is located. And then you're very close to Broad Ripple too. So you got a lot of nightlife in Broad Ripple, a lot of restaurants in Broad Ripple. In fact, in Meridian Kessler itself, it has some of the best restaurants in Indianapolis. And a lot of people will mistake those restaurants for being in Broad Ripple when in fact they're actually part of Meridian Kessler. A few of them in particular. There's one of my favorite places, my wife's favorites too, in Meridian Kessler. It's called Delicia and it's, it's kind of a Spanish restaurant, a Caribbean, some Latin American. So you get that kind of food there, but they have a drink there called Fire and Ice and it's made with this jalapeno infused tequila. I think it has a jalapeno reduction habanero reduction in it and then a jalapeno infused ice ball and there's some other stuff in it as well uh, like some basil hibiscus but that is one of the best drinks that I have ever had in my entire life but it is spicy so I mean today shooting this video on a pretty hot day it's close to 90 degrees if you were drinking just one of those even sitting in an air-conditioned building it is going to make you sweat but that is a fantastic restaurant and right here in Meridian Kessler. So there are several just like that. A lot of really top chefs and some restaurateurs, they're attracted to areas like this. It makes all of these types of neighborhoods even more attractive and also the walkability is really pretty high. There's tons of sidewalks, lots of shade and the fact that you've got some of those restaurants and some of those places so close by really helps to increase that popularity. So there you have it, a little tour of Meridian Kessler, just a small taste of really what it has to offer. It just has an incredible amount here. Very popular and really quite famous neighborhood in Indianapolis. So if you have any other questions about Meridian Kessler or any of the other neighborhoods in Indy or some of the suburbs for that matter, then make sure you reach out. And until the next one, we'll see you guys later.